The universe, an infinite expanse of both empty space and everything that exists. Although no one really knows for sure, the universe could be anything. However, one thing we do know is that it's expanding. That's right, a seemingly infinite, incomprehensible amount of space continues to grow at an alarming rate. When this idea was first proposed, by believe it or not, a Belgian priest by the name of Georges Lemaitre, many physicists doubted this theory, sticking with their steady state theory that the universe always existed. They claimed that the theory was simply a way to justify religious theories that the universe actually had a beginning. However, previous observations supported this theory, one of which became the main pieces of evidence in George's idea, the redshift of objects in space. Before we explain exactly what redshifting is, let's take a look at the closest thing to it that you probably have experienced many times over. So you're walking down the street, and an old truck passes you. It's loud, annoying, it's a huge mass that passes you far too closely. However, you notice that the sound seems to change. It seems to get lower pitched as it passed. This is known as the Doppler effect and can influence any moving object that emits sounds and light. So, what exactly is happening when the pitch of that speeding truck changes as it passes you? Waves. Sound and light are emitted in the form of waves, which can change in the width or period, and height, or amplitude. Let's say that the sound an ambulance makes looks like this at rest. When that ambulance moves towards you, the wave compresses, which makes that high-pitched whine you hear before it passing. Once the ambulance has passed you, the sound wave hitting your ear is expanded, making the sound seem lower as it moves further away from you. Sound is emitted in all directions from the ambulance, However, when it moves, the radius of sound being emitted is shifted back, like the ripples in a pool as you move along. This effect also influences light. While it may not be noticeable in everyday life, when you look at the big picture of stars and other celestial bodies, it is not only apparent, but important. The Sun always stays relatively fixed in terms of its distance to Earth, and thus appears without being affected by the Doppler effect. However, most other objects outside of our solar system are affected by the Doppler effect from our point of view. The Doppler effect can be measured in stars and other bodies using the atomic light spectrum. Every atom has its own light emission spectrum. This influences the emissions of stars, which are really just huge balls made of atoms fusing together. Each star has its own emission spectrum, which we have used to find its atomic makeup. However, when astrophysicists such as Edwin Hubble discovered that the atomic spectrum they expected to see was actually shifted toward the red end of the spectrum, they realized that celestial bodies were moving away from each other. This shift is called the red shift, as most, with the exception of the Andromeda galaxy, which is moving towards us and will eventually collide with our galaxy, all other celestial bodies are moving away from each other at an increasing speed. The red shifting of celestial bodies was used as one of the staple pieces of evidence to support George's saintly Big Bang Theory, which, thanks to redshift, is the most agreed upon theory of the beginning of the universe to date. So yes, the universe is expanding and will continue to expand, moving away faster and faster until one day in the future, everything will be so far apart, nothing new can be created. But that won't happen for a long time, and we don't have to worry about it, at least yet.